Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send it to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go. Report number 23733 Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Sunday, May 4, 2008. This report came to SCSO from Lloyd in Wisconsin. I would like to tell everyone about my uncle's experience with what he later called the primitive person of the forest. My uncle was a police officer and part-time private detective for Racine County, Wisconsin for well over 20 years. He was well respected and loved in his community and as a police officer. This all took place in 2002, 15 short years ago. One afternoon he had a fairly strange call from a local farmer that lived along the Root River in Racine County, Wisconsin. My uncle could tell the farmer was very upset. He told the farmer to settle down and tell him what was going on. He began to explain to him that he had a field with cows and calves in it and the calves were being stolen. At this time two were unaccounted for already. He asked if someone could come out to his farm to investigate and catch the people that were stealing his calves. My uncle set a time that evening to meet the farmer. He took his longtime partner Dean with him just in case there might be trouble. When they arrived the farmer walked them out to the field and explained his theory about what he thought was going on. The farmer figured someone must be pulling up to the back side of his fence line in the dark and putting the calves in a trailer or something like that. My uncle and his partner Dean decided to walk the perimeter around the field to look for any sign of activity or vehicle tracks that should have been left by these thieves. No sign of any human activity was found. They both thought it was kind of odd not to find anything, knowing it probably would not be an easy chore to steal a couple of calves, especially in the middle of the night. They walked back to talk to the farmer, and the farmer explained he could not afford to have another one stolen. My uncle and his partner talked over what their next step should be and they both decided to ask the farmer if he would be okay with them staking out the field from dark time and staying until morning if need be. The farmer said absolutely. They pulled their squad card up along the field edge by a few small bushes opposite from the road so they could clearly see anyone walking or pulling in. The car was also camouflaged enough so they would not be noticed right away. So my uncle and his partner sat near the car quietly having a conversation about family and friends to keep themselves fully alert. Approximately two and a half hours after dark they were startled by a loud thump that came from about halfway across the field. But he said closer to the field edge that ran close to the woods and the root river. My uncle whispered to his partner and said, Someone's out there. We will get them. Grab the spotlight quick. By now the cows and calves were in a panic and running to the opposite side of the field toward the farmhouse. My uncle grabbed the spotlight from his partner and hit the spot immediately. Now what they saw shocked both of them. Like my uncle said, he's not shocked by much because of his training and his experiences as a police officer. But this was different. What my uncle told me they were looking at clearly in the spot was a creature around 8 feet tall, 4 feet wide at the shoulder, muscles that were so large that no man could even carry them, dark hair from head to toe, and carrying a calf under its right arm. 
They both yelled stop, and when they did, it turned its head and upper body. Looking into the spot, it covered its eyes with its left arm for a second, turned and started walking toward the fence line. Now when it came to the fence, that was about four and a half to five feet high, my uncle said. It just stepped over it with ease. It didn't have to jump at all, still carrying the calf the whole time. They watched it walk into the darkness of the woods and a little ways down the hill until it disappeared somewhere along the river bottom. My uncle and partner looked at each other and said, What the F did we just witness? My uncle said, Well, it wasn't a bear or a human. That was a damn Sasquatch. There's no other explanation, he said. At that point, they were both shaking and in a state of shock. When they finally calmed down enough to drive, the, they drove out of the field onto the farmer's driveway and sat there not saying a thing. Dean finally spoke and, and asked my uncle, What the hell are we going to write on the report? They decided to write up the report saying that an unidentified animal was spotted and was the cause of the farmer's missing calves. Case solved. Now they did return to the farmer's home after working hours and told the farmer what actually took place. He was shocked but knew both my uncle and Dean and believed them 100%. They also told him if any more calves go missing to give them a call and no one else but them. The farmer did not call after that night. Maybe the Sasquatch moved on and after being caught by them in the field, no one really knows. After that life-changing experience, my uncle and his partner were true believers in what he called the primitive people of the forest. He told my family this story often and right up to tell them he passed away four years ago. My family and I all know to that these creatures do exist, knowing that my uncle had integrity and honesty. My uncle was lucky enough to experience another primitive person a few, few years after his first encounter while out hunting in the mountains of Wisconsin. But that is an experience that I can tell everyone about at another time. Thank you and God bless.